So we are in the Seifu sacrifice phase, but there's still plenty to talk about. And today I want to talk to you about the good, the bad, and the downright ugly from the last couple of days. So let's go. Welcome here, my dear friend. Come on in. Take a seat. Today I am sharing with you some jasmine pearls. And actually no particular reason. Sometimes there isn't a reason. Sometimes it's just right. But maybe it's because I want to drop some pearls on you in this video. See what I did there? <laughs> so anyway, I will say at this point, I'm not a financial advisor. We just sat here drinking jasmine tea and chatting about Seifu. So please do your own research. So before we get into the video, I am still on my quest to reach 1,000 subscribers. I'm now on 810, oh, getting closer and closer. So if you enjoy my content but haven't subscribed, then please do consider subscribing. The link is below. Thank you. Actually, just before we go on, one little quick thing to say. I saw a comment over the weekend and it just made me think, I need to say this again. I've said this in a couple of videos, but not in every video. So I just want to make it very clear. I am not paid by Brian Legend or the Seifu team or actually even YouTube or anybody to make these videos. I do these videos in my own spare time. I don't get any financial recompense for them. At some point, I hope to be monetized by YouTube, but that's completely separate from from Seifu, actually. I do this because I am an investor in this project, in Seifu and Seifu X, and I am passionate about it. And that's why I want to bring these videos to you. So, as today's theme is the good, the bad and the ugly, which of course is one of the best ever spaghetti western movies, I thought we'd have a little bit of appropriate music and I primed my production assistant, who you all know. So let's see if he comes up with the goods. Oh, <laughs> actually that will do. So the good, the bad and the ugly, what on earth am I talking about? Well, I want to share with you something really good, actually great. Um, that is the latest Seifu X marketing initiative. And I actually have a little exclusive to share with you on that thing. But I'm gonna come to that towards the end. Let's end on a great high. So I'm gonna deal with the bad and the ugly, first of all. Um, and I'm relating to actually what's just occurred during the last couple of days. <laughs> Which actually makes me laugh a bit, but... <laughs> It's all connected with FUD and FUDDERS. Now, I don't often talk about FUDDERS. I did talk about FUDDERS last in some videos, I think probably in July. I don't want my content all about FUDDERS because I don't want to give them the time of day. But this weekend, I had a really curious thing go on in CoinMarketCap. And you know, there's some comment sections there and I often go in and comment. And for whatever reason, the, the FUDDERS, oh, they picked up on my comments this week and ran with them and the result was really <laughs> actually really ridiculous and i'm actually sharing my thoughts about this particular food because i have a theory that's emerging in my head about this that i want to share with you but let's have a look at the food first of all and i wanted to start with the bad and i don't mean bad as oh it's really bad it's terrible I mean bad from a from a foot perspective. It's, it's ridiculous. So anyway, let me share with you one of the comments that I had. And sorry, what I should have said is a lot of the foot that, that um, I saw this weekend was actually targeted to a little old me. <laughs> so let me just share this all the bad comment. Here we go. So this is a little tip for tap between two of our favourite footers. Uh, we've got Big Daddy Kane and Safe Who Is A Scam, who I think actually is Nick the Griffin of YouTube fame, but who cares. Um, so Big Daddy Kane is saying if I ever go to America, I'm going to be um, 
I'm gonna be arrested when I've set foot in the USA. And then Nick the Griffin, or sorry, Sophie was a scam, says, don't worry, she won't get in the USA. She will soon be locked up here in the UK. We have provided lots of info to the anti-fraud department on her as she's the main UK shiller. <laughs> okay. Now, why am I sharing that particular bit of fun with you? I'm sharing it because I think it is comedy gold. And I <laughs> now have in my head a picture of, you know, some really tough blokes sat around in a room, the anti-fraud UK team. And they're opening a file called Chalk Talk. Right, let's look at the evidence. What's her career? She's been an academic registrar. Okay, what are personal details? Well, she's got two kids and she's been married for 30 years. Right, let's look at the evidence. Let's look at her YouTube videos. <laughs> Can you imagine them looking? <laughs> I just have this picture of the UK fraud squad. Start watching my video. <laughs> What's her criminal history? Well, she had two parking fines about 10 years ago, but she paid them on time. And so it goes on. Anyway, so <laughs> I just had to share that because that genuinely made me laugh out loud and all of my family who know me very well. <laughs> anyway, let's get on to the ugly because I mean, I love that was a bit of a comedy comment in my view um, some of the some of the comments I received were well very interesting let me share with you the kind of things that I've been called in the past couple of days so they range from well let, I'll put them up on the screen so she's a prostitute gosh I hope they don't tell my husband because he didn't know that's how I earn my money but anyway she's a prostitute um, a middle-aged woman with zero crypto knowledge, hardly any subscribers, and crap on camera. Shut up, old ugly lady. Well, at least they call me a lady, I guess. Oh, I love this one. She constantly zooms into her troll face on camera, and you can, uh, I think they meant to say see, but they can't really put sentences together. They can see all her grease and blemishes. Don't watch any of the videos if you're eating and want to finish your meal. Just look at this rancid bridge troll. I shouldn't laugh because actually they're very abusive comments but luckily I'm the type that I literally I, I literally just sit and laugh at those comments because I'm quite secure in my own skin and quite happy about how I'm going about things here but anyway the reason why I'm sharing these with you is not so you go oh my gosh chalk talk are you okay believe you me I am more than okay the reason I'm sharing it though, I have this little theory that actually these exact comments are incredibly helpful to me and the project. And you're probably thinking, why? How? Well, here's the theory. So for a start, I um, many of these comments appeared on one of my very positive comments that I'd put up, up about Seifu, which is now the top comment. <laughs> so anybody goes, that goes to Seifu will see my comment at the very top and it's gonna stay there for a long time because there's so many comments on it now so that's really positive if they then dive into the comments the comments that i've shared some of with and let me tell you there were many 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 comments like that they're just like maybe the highlights if they dive into those comments well anybody that reads those comments and goes oh i'm not gonna invest in sofu then to be honest we don't want that type of investor we want savvy investors that are going to do their own research now if i was reading that kind of comment and i used to do a lot of you know i used to read a lot of comments on coin market cap when i was first looking for projects to get into and if i read comments like that which you often get actually which is very sad um i'd be like what are they talking about why that who is this greasy old hag let me have a look and make my own decision and what's this rubbish project they're talking about? Why are they talking about it if it's so bad? There's maybe something there. So, in other words, I think this will drive potential investors to do their own research and look at who I am and what the project is. 
and I have some proof of this. So yesterday this was all cracking off and I at one point put up my YouTube channel because at one point there was a fake account that was that gave an example of, of you know, took a, a screenshot from one of my videos. So I jumped in and said, hey, this is the real Chop Talk. If you want to look at my real YouTube videos, then here's the link. And I had more interest yesterday afternoon in my YouTube videos than I ever typically have on a Sunday. I've got all the analytics that I can look at. And also I gained some subscribers yesterday, which is very, very unusual for a Sunday afternoon for my channel. So my theory is, it is so ridiculous, the FUD that we're seeing, that it actually could be quite positive for me, for other YouTubers, and for Seifu X going forward. Just my theory. Have a look on CoinMarketCap, have a read of some of the stuff that's in there, and let me know your thoughts below. So that was the bad and the downright ugly. That's gone now, let's talk about the good because that is what this video is about. So I wanted to talk about the latest marketing initiative by Brian and the team. And uh, just before I get into that, what I would say is, um, I love the fact that um, Brian and the team are so innovative when it comes to marketing and they try some what seems like some crazy things sometimes but I like that and I appreciate that and I think that gets us seen and of course one of those marketing initiatives we're actually going to see the fruits of the labour later today because um, when we were in Dubai a couple of weeks ago and we were doing all those wonderful things there was a documentary crew there and the whole point of us being out there and apart from being at Crypto Expo which was the main point but the whole point of us doing those other things actually was for this documentary and that documentary will be coming out later today do look out for that and I'll probably bring that to you anyway in the next day or so but on to the marketing initiative I'm talking about today Seifu X has partnered with the NBA and for the uninitiated, that's the National Basketball Association in the US, <laughs> has partners to have the new Seifu X theme played at the games or at some games. And I have a little exclusive. Um, Ace of Spade, who is Seifu News, attended um, the game, I think a couple of nights ago, where the, the theme was played, and he has sent me and you, my viewers, this very, very special message. Let's see. Hey, Chalk Talk. It's your boy Ace of Spade here with the Safe UX marketing team. Here to give you guys a little sneak peek of what you're missing. Hey, Chalk, man. We're here in, at the Motor Center. for the show of Blazers against the Phoenix Suns. Just so want to give you a little sneak peek. Uh, DJ OG1 right here on the ones and twos is doing what you do. And we're this close to the players. So in a moment, the Safe UX Anthem will be playing again here in the arena when more players and more fans come to the arena. So the song's already been played once during the warm-outs, but we're definitely going to play it again as the players and as the fans come into this arena. So it's about to be a packed down, sold-out game. This is the NBA game opener for the Portland Show Blazers against the Phoenix Sun. So Chalk Talk, we love you. Safe UX, the community, we all love you. Hey, back to you. Thank you, Asa. I love you, but you know that because I said that in my last video. <laughs> But that was great to have that. Thank you so much. But let's just take a little look also at some footage taken by um, Asa whilst he was there and a little listen to that theme tune. no expert at all on basketball or basketball games in the US but I am an expert on the power of sport and actually the power of music in sport because uh, let me tell you I spent many an hour on the football terraces of my local team actually the only the only football team Blackburn Rovers 
So I know, I know what happens in crowds with music going. I think it's a great initiative. So yeah, I, and it's innovative and that's what we want for our marketing. So I just wanted to share that with you as something incredibly positive from the last couple of days. Okay, that's all for me today. The good, the bad and the ugly. Let's hope in the future it's just all good. But I'm going to leave you on that note. Thank you for watching. I really hope to see you in my next video. But in the meantime, stay safe, foo, and cheers. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better days.